Hey guys, it's Ezra from iDump Tutorials here, and today I'm going to be showing you five new useful keyboard shortcuts for your Mac. Um, sorry if I sound a little under the weather, um, my nose is a little bit stuffed up, so yeah. Um, happy Thanksgiving everybody, I hope everybody had a great holiday, and I am definitely looking forward to the next holiday uh, in December, hope everybody else is too. Um, but getting on with this video, um, yeah, so five useful keyboard shortcuts. I use these shortcuts a lot, to be honest. Um, some of them I just learned about, maybe like a few months ago, um, and some of them I've known for, you know, forever. Um, and these aren't just your basic shortcuts, you know, this isn't just how to undo something or redo or copy or paste. None of that, no, this is, this is more for experienced, uh, users. Um, but, you know, they can be helpful for anybody. It's really, I use most of them on my daily, uh, use of my Mac. So, getting started on number one, this is to drag menu bar icons around. So, you can actually, not many people know this, but you can actually um, drag these uh, icons or whatever you call them, I don't really know. You can customize your menu bar, um, and all you need to do to do that is hold down Command and Option, and then just, uh, you know, click and drag. And it actually, it's really fun. You can you can drag around all of these. You can't do um, the spotlight or notification icons right there, but uh, you can do basically everything else. And it, it's really nice to you know be able to customize certain things in your Mac because Apple really restrains customization um, more on the iPhone, but on the Mac too. So this is a nice touch that you can do this. Uh, you can also drag these components right out of the menu bar. You don't even have to have them. I mean, there's other ways to do this, but this is a really quick way, uh, is just, you know, dragging them right out. And it makes for a very minimalistic look. Um, going on to number two, I use this uh, shortcut all the time. It's very, very useful. Um, so everybody knows how to uh, take a screenshot, right? So it's Command Shift Three. That takes full screen. Command Shift Four. You you can select you know a part of your screen to take a screenshot, and you have these two screenshots. They're nice. That's fine. But if you want to put this into a document, uh, you would have to just drag it in, and you know that's your whole thing. And it's not a long process, but there's a shorter way to do it. So the shorter way to just copy it right onto your clipboard and paste it in, and not saving it to your desktop. Uh, would just be to do the regular command, so command shift 3, but I'm not going to press 3 yet because that would actually take the screenshot. I'm going to hold down control um, and then take the screenshot, which now copies it to my clipboard, and if I open back up my notes document and command V, paste that in, it's right there. I don't have it on my desktop because I didn't want it on there, I just copied it to my clipboard and pasted it in. Very fast, very fluid, works all the time, it's very, very helpful, and it also works in the messages uh, app. So, um, moving on to number three, uh, this is how to get uh, the info on files. So, I find myself needing to do this all the time. I don't know why, but I do. So, it, you know, how to get uh, info would usually be uh, to right click and then go down to um, get info right here, and that would bring this up. But there's a much faster way to do that, which is to click on you know whatever you want to get info on the file and then command I all right so that brings up the info you know when you get you know all the stuff basically this is what you get so um, you can also modify the name in here too if you didn't know that um, but yeah this also works on regular you know files too it works on everything and it also uh, works in iTunes in uh, getting a song uh, details and you know had to get the editor of the song so let's just do that right here on just be sorry here I can uh, you know control the song name you know all this stuff and edit the song you know to my liking another nice thing with customization but yeah that's just the basic command I getting info uh, I for info obviously and that gets that great all right so number four all right so number four this would be to paste uh, words without the formatting. So I actually use this a lot. Um, uh, it's really helpful if you're like a college student or a high school student. It, it might be helpful. Um, this isn't condoning plagiarism, but um, 
if you are citing something or you know whatever it is you can actually uh, paste formatting uh, you can paste words without the formatting sorry so here I have the uh, Wikipedia YouTube page and let's say I want to uh, you know select this first line right here Oh my god select this first line all right and here I have a bold here I have a blue underlines you know it's it's not it's not pretty um, but if I uh, you know command C copy it uh, you know regular copy and I want to paste this into my notes uh, it would look not so nice you know you get the bold what I was saying you get the bold and you get the underlines and the different colors it doesn't look good but if you don't want any of those other things you just want regular plain text um, you would do the same, you know, Command V, but include Option and Shift. So that would be Command Option Shift and then V, and that pastes the same text without all the formatting. So, you know, it looks a lot cleaner, looks better without bold the the colors. It looks just plain. So if you're quoting something, um, you would do this in your paper. Um, all right. So number five, uh, the last one on the list. Uh, this one helps me out a lot, um, and it probably will help you too. I learned about it very recently, actually, um, and it's easy to forget about, but it's very useful. So, uh, let's say you are at, it's 3 a.m., and you're catching up on Orange is the New Black, even though it is uh, November, and it came out a few months ago. Let's say you're catching up now. Um, you don't have headphones, and your family is sleeping. Well, what are you going to do? You can put your volume all the way down, but this is still too loud. So you want to break that last uh, cube up into different sections right there, if you didn't see it. The way to do this would be to you know, increase or decrease the volume in smaller increment, increments. Um, and this is very easy to do. Just hold down Option, Shift, and then you know the F F11 and F12, or otherwise known as the volume buttons, um, actually does it in fours, if you see that. So that's one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. You can see it's in fourths. It also works in decreasing. So you can actually go all the way down to that. Uh, and it actually does help, you know, in that scenario. So if you do need that, that's right there. Um, a bonus, a little bonus uh, command would be for Spotlight. Um, most people know this, but to get Spotlight, you know, the regular this, you don't have to click there, you can actually just do, uh, and it's default for most Macs, but you can change it if you want, uh, it's command space, and that just brings that up real quick, so again, that's command space, brings it up, you can type, you know, calculator, or you know, whatever it is, you know, and you'll get your thing. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching, please feel free to subscribe, uh, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, it really does help out the channel, if you didn't like it, give it a thumbs down, and tell me why you didn't like it. If you'd like to see a part 2, or... Um, a series of this kind of video, or if you have any other ideas for videos, uh, let me know in the comments. If you want to download this wallpaper that I have right now, uh, that link will be in the description below. And uh, just thanks again for watching, guys, and I will see you guys next time.